Science is often imagined as a search for truth, linear, logical, and culminating in definitive answers. But this image conceals a more subtle and complex reality. In this video, I explore a different view, one that emerges from the intertwined stories of Einstein's path to general relativity. Otto Neurath's boat metaphor, Nancy Cartwright's tangle of science, and the elusive thousand dollar bill of gravitational waves. This is a story not of certainty, but of reconstruction, approximation, and integration. Otto Neurath once likened science to a boat at sea. We cannot dock and rebuild it from scratch. We must repair it plank by plank while remaining afloat. This metaphor finds deep resonance in Einstein's own process. His general theory of relativity did not emerge from a clean slate, but from reworking and refining earlier efforts, especially the Antwerp theory and the mathematical insight from his Zurich notebook. The idea here is not one of discarding error and replacing it with truth, but of an evolving architecture where all of the structures are reinterpreted and repurposed. A physicist once said that predicting the path of a thousand dollar bill tossed into the wind is harder than calculating planetary motion. This metaphor captures the central challenge faced by modern experiments, such as LIGO's search for gravitational waves. Theoretical models based on general relativity must navigate real-world complexity, noise, instrumental limitations, and unpredictable conditions. Like Einstein's refinement of coordinate conditions or the iterative improvement of LIGO's data analysis, scientific models must be constantly adjusted. Precision emerges not from perfection, but from successive approximations. Nancy Cartwright's Tangle of Science challenges the myth of isolated theories or clear-cut methodology. Scientific practice, she argues, is a networked enterprise. Models, instruments, equations, and theories co-evolve. Einstein's work on relativity drew on differential geometry, variational principles, and mathematical tools, as well as on discussions with friends and colleagues. Similarly, detecting gravitational waves requires more than just general relativity. It demands noise filtering, detector calibration, and interdisciplinary coordination. Science progresses not through isolated trust, but through the coherence of many moving parts. Across these case studies, from Einstein's evolving equations to modern gravitational wave experiments, a unified philosophical theme emerges. Scientific progress is not the march toward immutable truth. It is a dynamic, recursive, and collaborative process of reconstruction. We do not begin from absolutes, 
we refine, reinterpret, and integrate, working with the tools we have amid the complexity we face. The boat never docks, but it stays afloat, not by certainty, but by adaptability. According to Otto Neurath, we are like sailors who must rebuild their ship while staying afloat. To learn more about Einstein Blattles and the philosophy of scientific progress, explore my book, Einstein's Legacy, from General Relativity to Blackle Mysteries. Thank you for watching this presentation. Feel free to ask questions or share your thoughts in the comments.